Well, hello, and uh, thank you for taking time again to join me for our Friday devotion. Uh, we're looking forward to be able to have you in worship again this Sunday, whether that would be in person or online. Uh, just a reminder, if you do want to join us in person, please take a moment uh, to go to our website and sign up for the uh, 8.30 traditional or the 10.30 contemporary service so we know that you're coming, know how many people that we have, and that we're able to distance properly. Uh, if you're not able to do so yet, please make sure you join us online. The services will be broadcast over the entire weekend to make sure you have that opportunity to be able to come before the Lord and know that He meets with you. And so today we take that opportunity uh, as well. Remember, we meet with the Lord not only on Sunday, but it's a daily opportunity uh, that we have. And so today I'd like to look at a scripture passage from John chapter 14, uh, beginning at the first verse, and I'm going to read through verse 4. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. So my friend uh, sent me a text yesterday saying that he is finally in a position in which he's going to be able to hopefully uh, buy his very first house. Uh, he lives in the state of California. It's a, a, a tough market there now. Uh, definitely very pricey in a lot of different areas. And he's finally saved up a lot of money and he's looking forward to being able to, to purchase and make this investment and have a place that he can call home. Uh, he was telling me about all the things that he's thinking about for him, uh, for his family, for his girls, to be able to, to build this life in this new place. You know, in a text for today, it talks a lot about this, this home that Jesus is preparing for us. Uh, many of us here in the state of Arizona uh, have homes that we live in, uh, places that we find comfort in, that we find safety in, that we have made investments in, a place that we can fall back on, a place that we are comfortable in, a place that we do want to raise our family in. Uh, we put a lot of trust and investment in our homes here on earth. But how much time do we take to think about the investment that Christ is making on our behalf in our heavenly home. Is that something that you think about? Not that we want to rush away from this earth and get out of here and that we want to, want to leave this place in such a hurry for God has given us a great mission while we were here on this planet. But at the same time, do we think about what our God is doing for us and has done for us? Our Savior who has given his life for you and for me tells us within the scripture passage for today that he is going off to be able to prepare a place for us so that we may be where he is at. He says, you know where this place is. It is your, your heavenly home. And so we too today think about that as we look forward to making an investment with our Lord, of being able to have this celebration in his name in our heavenly home that is yet to come. You know, it's fun to share with our friends uh, our homes, to be able to invite them over and to be able to have a meal. Even for my friend uh, yesterday, to be able to send me a text and say, hey, check this place out. Look where I am going to live. How much more important is it for us to share with the friends and family that we have around us about our heavenly home, about the place that we hope that they will join us one day to be able to eat at the Lord's table? to be able to sit at his feet and to hear his words, to be able to be joined together in this eternal paradise in the home that God has created for us. This weekend, as we take time to be able to worship together, either in our homes or uh, here at church, we think about the opportunity that we have to share this great message with people around us, to tell others about the home that God, that Jesus himself, is preparing for all people. All we have to do is listen to his word, by his spirit, capture the message that he has given to us. Be able to take time to study uh, daily like we do now and grow closer with him, knowing that he has given us a free gift. We can't earn it. Uh, 
we can't make him love us any more. We can't make him love us any less. But our Heavenly Father has done so much on the behalf of his Son for you and for me. This weekend, take that into account as we recognize the home that Christ is preparing and has prepared for us. In Jesus' name, amen.